witnessing widespread flooding. A storm of a much different sort is also setting its sight on our country. The mandatory budget cuts that threaten to gut the United States military. Here's Craig. Our Navy is smaller now than any time since 1917. Well, Governor, we also have fewer horses and bayonets because the nature of our military has changed. President Obama's sharp retort to Governor Romney's critique of spending cuts in the military during last week's debate. We have these things called aircraft carriers where planes land on them. We have these ships that go underwater, nuclear submarines. This cutting exchange in the third presidential debate attracted most of the attention. But the real threat to the military budget is the controversial bill which Congress passed and the president signed into law last year to confront the nation's looming $16 trillion debt. The law requires automatic across-the-board cuts on January 2nd, 2013 that will slash billions from the defense budget. But in battleground states like Virginia, where as many as one in four adults work for defense contractors, which build enormous submarines like the Minnesota, which is about to be christened, these defense cuts could mean as many as 200,000 jobs. It was designed to be so bad that we would never get to this point. Mike Petters is CEO for Huntington Ingalls Industries, with 37,000 employees in Virginia, Mississippi, Louisiana, and California. It is the largest U.S. naval shipbuilder. All of the usual suspects are saying all of the things that they were predicted to say. It is not the way the nation should be going about deciding how to allocate its resources. Congressman Randy Forbes for the 4th Congressional District in Virginia. It's going to be devastating to the economy of Virginia. It's going to be devastating to the economy of the country. But more importantly, it's going to put us in a situation where we believe we're dismantling the greatest military the world has ever known. According to the International Monetary Fund, if mandatory cuts go into effect, they will have a devastating impact on the economy. The loss of jobs so steep, the ripple effect across the nation could take us into another steep recession. We're going to probably lose as many as 200,000 jobs in Virginia because of these enormous cuts. Across the country, it'll be about 1.5 to 2.1 million. We have $16 trillion deficit that's looming over our country. We have to cut something. Why not the defense? No one has said that we shouldn't put things on the table to cut on defense. We shouldn't do it in this arbitrary fashion that we're doing. But in the debate, the president said sequestration is not going to happen. The president signed that into law. I didn't vote for it. Governor Romney has said he wouldn't have supported it, but the president signed it into law. There is no way the president can just ignore the law. Finger pointing aside, there's no doubt the impact here in Virginia. Shipyards basically is Nuka News. This is what really put Nuka News on the map. It would be devastating to this community. Um, I think everyone around here is uh, very much affiliated with the shipyard, and they rely on the shipyard a lot. We do depend on the Newport News shipyard, and we need a job. Ticking time bomb that's about to go off in January 2013. How do you explain that to people? How do you keep people calm? I'm a glass is half full kind of guy. I believe that it, we will work our way through this. It is the law of the land, but I also am optimistic to believe that this is all going to push people into a place where they're going to have to come together and figure out what the real plan is. Is he really optimistic? He is optimistic. He, he thinks, he hopes that people will come to their senses and put this thing together before this time bomb does go off and these cuts are made. How about the workers that you spoke to, the blue collar guys? Well, they're concerned, you know. This is the only game in town, the shipyards. It's the only place that's hiring. And you also have to remember that the, uh, this company spends $400 million a year in contractors and construction and all these different things that support the shipbuilding industry. It's huge. It's really an important cog. It's also a battleground state. I think they'll figure Absolutely. something out. They better do it in a hurry, though. Craig, thanks. Some Republicans are calling Benghazi Gate more serious than Watergate because in Watergate, nobody died. Our friend